We have a series of very specific things that could be done in the U.S. government to help break up the uh, rotating door that exists between the pharmaceutical industry and the regulatory agencies. And that similar rotating door practice exists in virtually all of the agencies in the United States. That has to be stopped. But beyond that, the question is, what can individuals do? What can you do to help with the situation and to make for a better world for you and your children? And my answer to that is the same answer that George Orwell gave in a preface to an early volume of 1984 in which he predicted that we are likely to end up living in a totalitarian, pharmaceutically controlled state for all of us globally. This was Orwell's predictions um, long ago. And his opinion was the only way we could avoid this outcome is by seeking to develop decentralized organizations. And so the, the counterpoint to centralized command economy logic, which Europe and France is very familiar with. Uh, you have seen the Soviet Union, you have seen the CCP, you have seen the Eastern European nations and what it did to them under totalitarian rule. And if France has seen anything, they have experienced the Nazi regime and they don't forget about that either. Uh, and uh, France should remember its history of resisting authoritarian rule, uh, a long and deep history of uh, uh, advocating for freedom and personal freedom and sovereignty and recognize that the time has come to commit to a future for yourself and your children that is, that is based in decentralized control and personal sovereignty and not based in the logic of centralized global command economies. We've all seen where that goes. Whatever words you apply to it, this is, this is our choice. Do you wish to live as basically an indentured servant in a fourth industrial revolution in which we see the fusion of man and machine, transhumanism, is that the future that you want? Because that's the future that the World Economic Forum and its various allied organizations and corporations wish to shape for you. That's the term they use. They wish to shape that fourth industrial revolution and transhumanism future for you and your children. Is that what you want? Is that the world you want to live in? If you don't, you better get awake now. You better pay attention and you better start acting as the people of France have been doing. The people of France have been leading the world in saying no saying no to these various organizations like BlackRock, State Street, uh, and all the others that are trying to seek this control, saying no to the World Economic Forum, saying no to the power grab of the international accords that are being promoted for the uh, World Health Organization, saying no to Agenda 2030, in which the advocacy is that it's a fundamental human right to live wherever you want, which means the middle class in France will be completely destroyed. Um, you have a choice right now. Do you wish to maintain France? Do you wish to maintain French culture? Do you wish to maintain your personal autonomy? Or do you wish to become assimilated into a globalist world in which you're told from some place similar to uh, Brussels about what you shall and shall not do, what vaccines you shall and shall not take, what medicines you shall and shall not take, what is a global pandemic, uh, what is a public health threat, and diktats from some central organization that's not even elected uh, that will tell you what you're supposed to do. Is that the world you want for you and your children? It's your choice.